I have a very active life. Um, I've been very fortunate to be able to tour a lot, um, to teach a lot, um, to record a lot, and along with that comes uh, a price. And during the course of my career and over the years, um, you know, I get tired and sometimes I get anxious. So I had the um, uh, the fortune to write uh, Sax Meditation One, and it really changed my life and it changed the life of a lot of people. So I just always remember the impact that that album had on me and the impact it had on, on, on my fans. So I wanted to do a Sax Meditations too, but I didn't want to do it exactly like that. Um, so what I did was that during the course of my teaching, um, during the course of my touring, uh, during the course of, of my recording, um, I would write. And if I wrote a song that made me feel calm or, or that lowered my anxiety or whatever, I would say that, put that song aside and save it for sax meditations too. And in the process I met somebody who um, I thought was extremely beautiful and, and she represented something that, you know, someone that I would really like to be close to. So that in addition to what I was going through created sax meditations too. Um, I think it's better than sax meditations, well, well it's different, but I think the songs are different. I think the moods are a little bit different and uh, the motors were a little bit different. So, um, but at the same time, they were the same. So I hope you enjoy Sax Meditations too and come along for this little quick journey. I wrote Almost Paradise, uh, I met a young lady who was, oof, oof, and um, just wasn't meant to be. Um, things were different, we were different, um, and, you know, uh, but during the course of the first conversation, or afterwards, I went to sleep and I heard this little theme in the back of my mind along with the melody, and I wrote the, um, and I just went, wow, this is beautiful, so I got up and I called her, and, she liked the song, so um, it's the it's the lead off of the song, it's the lead off of Sax Meditations two album, and I, and I really, really, really think it's probably the best thing I've ever written. New Day is a song that represents um, hope for me. Um, in, in other words, if you're going through something, or when I go through something, I just remember that it's it's incumbent upon me to make the best of the situation. And no matter what you're going through in life, the way you face it has everything to do with how your life is going to be, your reality is going to be. So New Day for me was the same, you know, Walter, you know, what I'm going through, you know, situations at, at Berkeley College of Music uh, Institution uh, where I work or going through uh, you know 
dealing with promoters or, or business people, so on and so forth, and my businesses. Um, life is good, and remember that it is what you make it, and New Day for me represents that. I love heartfelt. Heartfelt is just simple, um, pretty, and again, it, it goes back to the young lady I met and the way she made me feel when I looked at her. And, um, and I just remember in my mind meditating on her and uh, it's coming up with a melody. And it kind of wrote itself, so uh, that's it. Lynn Fidmont is one of the most incredible vocals I've ever heard in my life. And she has this sound um, in her voice. It's just like so soulful. It doesn't matter what she's singing. It just comes off just like, ah. Oh. So I heard her voice um, actually when I was writing this. And um, it's called Midnight Meditation. And we go back and forth. She's singing oohs and ahs and I'm playing lines. And it's a nice little kind of imitation of uh, Isaac Hayes kind of, you know, Barry White kind of, oof. so it's not really, it can be used for meditation, but just in case you don't feel like meditating, it can be used for other, other things, so uh, Midnight Meditation is, is kind of like a sensuous thing that, uh, um, that I came up with, and it features Lynn Fidmont, beautiful person, beautiful voice. Silver Lining um, is again probably one of the nicest songs I've ever written and it's, it, I had a choice to play soprano or, or alto saxophone uh, on it. Uh, when I play, there, there's, a, there's, a, there's a thing that I do in the upper register on alto where I can make it sound almost exactly like a soprano. It's very light but it's, it's, um, it's, kinda, it's filled with tension but it's also light and it gives it a kind of interesting uh, feel and I wrote Silver Lining, and I played alto on, on Silver Lining way up in the high register, very lightly. And uh, I, I think uh, that presentation probably is my favorite on the record because I, I stuck to what I felt was the most important thing, the melody, and I tried to treat it with uh, respect and dignity and not get away from it. And it uh, features Phil Davis, one of the best musicians I've ever had the pleasure of working with in my life, um, and Silver Lining. There's some albums uh, that make you want to conquer the world, uh, solve the mysteries of the universe. This is not one. Uh, if you need something to help you relax or you know, deal with the, the troubles of the day or the kids or you know, the college tuition or uh, just grown folk kind of uh, situation that we find ourselves in, this kind of record for me um, 
means everything. I, I, I continue to do other records that mean different things, but we all need to be in a place or, or be able to, to listen to something that will put us in a place where we can be uh, 100% when it comes to dealing with the, the, the daily aspects of our lives or, or you know, uh, uh, the, the, the turmoil that we face. So I hope this is a blessing for you. It's a blessing for me. I listen to it every day now as I did Sax Meditation 1. Uh, it'll be out around February, end of February. So thank you so much for your support. I really, really appreciate it. God bless. See you soon.